And why you make me go outside? <laughs> I came outside because the birds was chirping and everything was sounding like you said. We need to hear what's being said around us. But instead, we're too busy in the house trying to watch sitcoms and sports football. Only time we watch the news is when somebody getting beat up so they can show us that they still have control. Somebody told me a long time ago, and I said this in the video, so I won't even repeat that. I just won't go there. Um, the lessons to be learned from this YouTube are bigger than any of us. The wheels have been set in motion for us to take a fall, so to speak. Once America falls, then the rest will fall in line. We're the most loudest, most outrageous, the most powerful nation on this planet, and we have no power. The visions of, ooh, I want to be an American, and, and I want to do all this, and all the people all around the world come here to better themselves. But the people here don't seem to get the same shake. People here don't, don't get the same opportunities. The two main people in our country are black and white. Now, back in the days, when something, when they wanted to strike a deal, everybody, I need to have that deal in black and white. Black and white, good and evil. Well, how come the two major, I guess we're the major races in America, the blacks and the whites? They forgot about the original Americans, the Indians. You know, they, they forgot about the other immigrants that come in here. When they place people in line for bad shit to happen to, it's either a black or a white. You know, over the course of history, it's the black or the white situation. See, and when the shit goes down, who's going to be beefing the most? The blacks and the whites. See, the problem with our country is this. We don't care about each other. Fuck them, they're black. Fuck them, they're white. And everybody else appears to be at peace with each other. But on the bottom, fuck the Mexicans. Fuck the blacks. And on the bottom, we gonna kill all these blacks. We gonna kill all the Mexicans. See, the major story is the blacks and the whites fighting. They keep people distracted with that old story. It's us against them. It's poor against rich. No. It's what they tell us to do, we do. Now we've done too much of nothing. We can't fix what is broken. And you try to tell somebody the truth, but they don't want to listen to you because till death is coming on at 8 o'clock. Oh. What the Bible say? You shouldn't honor any false idols or whatever. They got American Idol, everybody. More people vote for American Idol than for president. For governors. You know, so the pop culture. What is popular? Popular is anything that will take your mind off the truth. Constantly we run out and go buy CDs, go to the movies. We're going to try to defend ourselves. Hell no. I got to go to work Friday. People don't have time to look for the truth anymore. And that's it. It's like a handful of people who know the truth. They all got something. I've seen these videos on the internet. You see these rich white people or people well-to-do are telling all people, you know, this is wrong. And I can see it right now. The average guy, I'm not going to listen to that white lady. I'm not going to listen to that white man. And then when they don't listen, then people like me and you get on here and like, we're telling everybody. Listen. Look and watch some of these videos. If there's any, you know, you know what they say about old stories and old fables and Dracula, you know, shit like that. Those, all these old stories, these old myths, there's some truth to every story. And I was telling somebody about a video that uh, I think you asked me to watch this video. No, that didn't happen. That couldn't happen. I don't think that. No, I couldn't do that. They couldn't do it. Hey, that's doubt already. There's, there's people already doubt what the powers that be can do. How, how can you doubt what they can do when you're beholding to them? Now, you said the Bank of England might own this. I don't call the Bank of England. 
I'm going to get the phone number tomorrow. I'm going to call the Bank of England. And I'm going to tell them I want to square up on my debt. And then hopefully, hopefully we can find out who truly owns us. You was telling me some numbers uh, about a week ago. You told me it comes down to like $170,000 per person in America. Whenever somebody dies, that debt rolls over to to us, to next people who are still alive. So I'm going to ask these people, hey, in all honesty, if I owe you some money, then you might as well give me a loan. So I ain't going to be able to pay that off. So give me a loan so I can pay you off. You get it? If they can loan us money or loan our country money based on our how long we live, how much we're willing to earn or we can earn in our lifetime, then they shouldn't be making us stupid. A bunch of brilliant people are worth a hell of a lot more to you than a bunch of poor people who die prematurely from the drugs they feed us who can't keep a job because they didn't educate us enough to get a job then people send their people over to our country to snap up the jobs that we are no longer qualified to get and then they put stipulations on us when we do go to work saying we have to learn foreign languages in order to keep our jobs and when the war comes and there's people fighting in the streets not knowing why they're fighting you know who's going to survive the people who don't live in quote unquote ghettos poor neighborhoods it's going to be fighting right down the street around the corner from me and when it spills into the street that's when the cops might show up to take my guns from me oh there's fighting down the street we're going to need your weapons you know paint a big red orange on my door or orange sign on the door to let them know what color the person is and then when the squads come in late at night I won't have no guns so I saw a video about Katrina when Katrina went down and the funny part about this is there's no funny part about it they were taking these people's weapons from them now if the military military the military can come in and take your guns from you and the police and taking people's guns now we have the right to bear arms, but to what point? To protect ourselves? No. They won't let us have weapons to protect ourselves. That's why the criminals have weapons. You get it? Yeah, I know you understand what I'm saying. They won't let you protect yourself like in the Wild West because there wouldn't be no criminals. Texas, they get to keep their guns in Texas, right? Let there be a natural disaster in Texas. We'll see if they ride in like they did in Katrina and take their guns. Let me see if they, they freeze their bank accounts and shit. You know, the saddest part of the plight of America is I'm only 40 and I'll probably get to see the end. And like you said, it's hard to leave a seed in the soil when you know the dirt is no good. So, I look back at my son. 16 years old so when the shit hits the fan he'll probably be what 20 or even 18 fighting in a war against Americans on American soil for no reason at all you know they didn't kill enough people in 9-11 to be happy they're not blowing up enough people overseas to be happy so some shit gotta jump off big time here so they can instill martial law and so maybe they can uh, install a monarchy. Maybe the Rothschilds and Rockefellers will pick a leader for America. They'll give America one governor. Let him govern all of us. I say as an American person, fuck the taxes. There's no laws that say we have to pay taxes. There also aren't any laws that state that we are not owned by anybody. There's nothing to say we're free. There's no paper that, or, or something that says that we are free individuals in this country. The thing is, maybe we don't need to get the word out here. Maybe we need to get the word out overseas. Don't come here. It's all a lie. But the American dream is what they want to give people. You can't dream if you're asleep. So... Wake up, America. You've been tubed.